Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. Today I have a nostalgic 90s kid lunch. I got chips, I got some plain like nacho cheese Doritos, and I got a turkey sandwich with a little bit of mayo. I like the mayo. I'll get Miracle Whip, but sometimes I'll get the mayo with olive oil in it and mustard, and I have pepper jack cheese. Normally I have Swiss. I got a cold glass of water. And I got to tell y'all something. I finally got something in the mail, y'all. I finally got my V Loves Life Smackalicious Sauce. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Um, I ordered it online. She has a sale going on right now. I think until the end of February or maybe like the 18th or something. Don't quote me on that. Um, Go to her channel, V Loves Life. But like, yeah, like I ordered her sauce. Like she is my favorite YouTuber. I'm always watching her YouTube videos. I'm always watching her mukbangs. Um, she's where I got my inspiration to do mukbangs. And she dropped a while ago, like a couple years ago, she dropped her Smackalicious sauce. It comes in mild and it comes in spicy. I just ordered mild just so that I can try it out. Um, and at some point, I'm going to do a seafood boil so that I can do a review on this sauce. And she has videos also where like she's showing you how to like make it yourself um like from scratch so i plan on doing that at some point too y'all gotta stay tuned for that but i'm so excited i'm gonna say grace and then i'm gonna start eating lord i thank you for this day i thank you for this meal i thank you for this opportunity i thank you for the people that support me i ask that you bless this food let it be nourishment to my body in jesus name amen so yeah y'all nostalgic not just kid lunch back in the day when you was at home and your mama made you some nuts. Basically a sandwich. Sometimes it was ham. Sometimes it was turkey. Sometimes it was Swiss cheese or American cheese. And some chips. Maybe even some Oreos or fruit. I ain't had no more fruit though. Um... And for some reason, like, everything tastes better if your mom makes it or, like, your grandma or, like, your favorite aunt or something. Everything is just better that way. I don't know why. I made just myself, though. It's pretty good. It's hitting the spot right now. <laughs> Every time I eat something like this, I just think about when I was a kid. Like, I had a pretty decent childhood. I had everything I needed and most of everything I wanted. I lived in a decent neighborhood. It wasn't ratchet. It wasn't ghetto. It wasn't the hood. It wasn't the projects. Nothing against people who was raised like that or raised in those environments. I'm just saying, like, Just telling y'all how how things were when I was younger. I remember waking up on Saturday mornings and watching the cartoons like um Pinky and the Brain and um What's the other one with the, I think they were mice and it was like two boys and a girl and she had a bow in the middle of her head. What was, what was that called? I see it, but I can't think of what it was called. Or like when I would watch cartoons, like before I went to school, sometimes I would watch Arthur and sometimes I would watch um, Dragon Ball Z. Sometimes I would watch Sailor Moon, like man. The 90s was lit, lit. Like, if you weren't if you were a 90s kid, which, by the way, when we talk about 90s kids, we're talking about 1990 to 1992. Like, because, like, the ones that were born in the early, early, early 90s, like, we're the only ones that really remember the 90s, like, for real. Everybody else, technically, your prime 
or like the, the point where you start remembering your childhood for real was like after 2000. So just to be clear, 90s, real 90s babies is 1990 to 1992. Okay. Now that we got that out the way, just saying. What else? I like watching uh, Rocco's Modern Life and um, Cat Dog, Hey Arnold, Powerpuff Girls. Ooh, I love the Powerpuff Girls. I had a pillow. It was like a decorative pillow, but it was bubbles like her face. Cause it was blossom bubbles and buttercup. I had I had the um uh, pop up girls like bed set, the sheets and the comforter. I had our pop up girls um uh, CD. I I I don't know if I still have it, but like I had it for a lot like years. Um, what else? Oh, I had a I had a pop up girls birthday cake one year for my birthday. Um. Oh, I can't forget about Nickelodeon. The Amanda Bynes show, The Girls Room. Man, I miss that. Um, Keenan and Kale, obviously, watch all that. Um, and they used to have like. Like, uh, I don't know if it was like a game show, but like people would go to like Nickelodeon Studios and there'd be like this whole little thing and they had like the, the, the Kids' Choice Awards and they had like kids that would go to the Nickelodeon Studios and they would get like slimed with green slime. Like, it was so lit. I remember like going to my grandparents' house and washing it over their house and like I'm just be impressed about the luxury of staying up late to watch all my shows. When I was a kid, um so many restaurants look different too. And, like, the to-go plates and cups all had, like, that signature, like, purple and turquoise, like, zigzag lightning bolt design on it. Like, the whole Taco Bell, like, their entire inside of their restaurant looked like that. McDonald's looked different. They had the play place and, like, uh, Ronald McDonald and Friends. The Hamburglar and I can't remember all of them. But like their toys came in Happy Meal. Oh, y'all. I used to have like a Barbie CD. It, no, it wasn't even a CD. It was a cassette, y'all. Oh my gosh. It was like a hot pink cassette and it had music on both sides and I had a Barbie boom box. I was like seven. Wow. Time flies. <laughs> That's crazy. And then the twins, my, my siblings. The twins, they were born like late 90s. I had to have been like six when they were born. And, uh, when we moved from the first house we were living in, uh, I would uh, take them like up and down the street 
like in the stroller, in their stroller, and I'd be running up and down the street like I had a race car or something. Like zooming up and down the street with them in the stroller. I know them people that was driving past my house was like, <laughs> what is going on? But they had a blast and I did too. I used to have an electric scooter too. Y'all remember having birthday parties in the 90s? Balloons and a cake and all your cousins would come over. And everybody either come to your mama house or your grandma house. And all your cousins, even cousins from the other side of the family pulled up. Everybody had that big old video camera. <laughs> Everybody had an aunt that had them big bifocals. Those were the days. Chuck E. Cheese was a big deal in the 90s. I went to Chuck E. Cheese. I went to Major Magic. I think I had one of my birthday parties at Major Magic. It's like Chuck E. Cheese, but kind of better. They had Jeepers. Oh, and it has Caesar Land. It's like a huge jungle gym. Life just seemed so cool back then, like... It just seemed like such a happier time. Like, I'm just thinking back on my childhood. Like, I had a really nice childhood. And different things, like, are standing out as far as, like, what was going on and how life used to be back then. It was a happy time. Really, the kids in the 90s. All the 90s kids, I need y'all to comment and tell me, what year you were born and what is one of your best memories in the 90s? Did y'all used to get whoopings when y'all was a baby, when y'all was a kid? I think in life, I can probably count on one hand how many times I ever got a whooping. <laughs> I don't remember what I did, but I didn't really get whoopings like that when I was a kid. I wasn't bad, though. I wasn't, like, out here wilding like that. I was a good kid at school. I was always on the honor roll. We all had, like, a cousin or a friend who was, like, always in trouble. And, like, they got, it was always grounded, couldn't come outside with the rest of the, with the, rest of the crew. So, you know, everybody meet up down the street on their bike. We all had that one friend that could hardly ever come outside because he or she was always in trouble. This was before tablets and, like, cell phones. You know what I mean? Like, you want to know who outside, you got to go outside and, like, be out on the block. And you better be you better be in front of the house when the street lights come on. That was a fun time. <clears throat> if I could go back to my childhood, I would do it again. I had a happy childhood. And I'm glad that I grew up in, in the 90s and like, I've had the luxury of seeing like a pre-technology society. Like in the 90s, computers were a thing, but computers were like huge. And it was only like desktop computers and 
pagers were a thing and like cell phones were out but they were like those rectangular nokia phones that were like indestructible i think you had to put minutes on them too right yeah I had the, the luxury of growing up in a society that wasn't, like, huge on technology. But then, like, like late middle school, early high school is when cell phones kind of became a big deal. And, like, there were flip phones. And then there, and then there was the Razor. And then there was the, uh, the next town phone that chirped. Where you at? Y'all remember that commercial? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Then you have the uh, what do you call that thing? The kick is that what was called? The thing like it's a phone, but like you slide it up, it was shaped like a Game Boy, and you man having to type. Having to press a button like a whole bunch of times. Click, 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 click. I had mastered that thing though. Like, I could text without even looking back then. And then the uh, Palm Pilots with the stylus was a thing. And then, boom, everything's like touch screen. It seemed like all that happened within a span of like 10 years. That's crazy. But yeah, y'all. Anyway, I can go on and on. Um, but yeah, y'all talk to me. Give me some feedback. Talk, tell me about something from the 90s, if you're a 90s kid. Or even the early 2000s that gives you nostalgia. I just want to eat my 90s style lunch. And talk to y'all. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and peace 